Hi and assalamu alaikum. Welcome back once again to Technology Information Channel. Today we are going to explain how the Cummins EFC controller, electronic fuel controller system and Cummins electronic governor, how that's work and how to understand the wiring of the electronic governor. So complete watch the video. I have a small request to all newcomers, if you are first time on my channel, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification to get more latest update videos. So let's get started. Come in. EFC controller. This controller It's like this. Here is a two wire, and here is a small gate, like opening and closing for the fuel in and fuel out to the injection system. You can see here is the original picture of the EFC controller. So today talk about to understand the working basic working of the EFC controller, how to rewire and how to check it and how to dismantle and how to reinstall. First of all, you need to know the working of the this controller. This controller is working to turning uh, turning on and on off the fuel system and raising the fuel and increasing decreasing the fuel to the engine operation speed. This controller is controlled by through the MPU which is called magnetic pickup unit or you can call speed sensor which is mounted on a crankshaft uh, uh, flywheel okay this this is uh, getting getting signal from the MPU and increasing and decreasing the fuel level to the injection operation systems okay now i explain the working of the efc controller first of all which mpu is mounted on a flywheel when the flywheel is rotating facing with the MPU sensor, the MPU sensor working a vice versa. If the engine speed is increased, this automatically decreases the fuel level. If the fuel system, if the flywheel speed is increased, this is decrease the fuel system. If the flywheel speed is increased, this is decrease the fuel system. This is working opposite type. Okay. MPU generate the AC voltage okay from the 8 volt to 36 volt AC this is small type of small type of AC generator this is generate the voltage to the rotating flywheel kit to the to the uh, face with the sensor and the sensor generate the voltage to send to the directly to the actuator okay now one thing is another aid to make the complete function of this is the EFC controller governor card you can see the picture of governor card this governor card is working for example this is our governor card this two point for the MPU this is our this is our actuator this is the actuator two wire okay this is our for example our 
fly. This is called, for example, NTU. NTU have two wires. Okay. And this is the this is the NPU. This is the actuator. First of all, we are taking two wires from here to there. Okay, like this. And then take output from here to there. As you can see here, this time. Now, let's see the working. When we crank the engine, the engine crankshaft rotating and flywheel also rotating with the crankshaft because the flywheel is mounted on the crankshaft. This small sensor of MPU generates the SC voltages. This is sending AC voltage to the this controller. This controller get back to the actuator card. And this actuator card have small door like here for the fuel passing. This door is closing and opening, closing and opening, widely opening and rarely opening. This is working like this, okay? Some this type of the actuator have, you know, some type of ends. That means normally open, normally closed type. Some type is of working as a normally closed type, some type of working as a normally open type, okay? But the working of this sensor is, the flywheel is rotating and also the MPU generate the AC voltage and giving back to the controller card and controller card then send back to the actuator and actuator is working. If your generator is hunting or voltage fluctuation, or poor rough and poor rough running, this also may you need to check the MPU sensor output, take a multimeter and take the reading from 8 volt to 36 volt AC. Make sure. Make sure check the MPU sensor here is a magnetic tip. You can check here some type if uh, it's capturing the uh, the derbies of the flywheel. Okay, clean and retire it again. This is the working of how to retire the MPU. The MPU is a open, you need to open completely and install back and we lose one and a half threads. Okay. Now, if your MPU sensor is okay, then check your controller card. Okay. You can put, uh, you can also check here the MPU reading here and here. And then you check here the actuator output reading. Okay. Yes. It should be 3 to 9 volt. Okay. This is also AC volt. You can check here the actuator output reading on this two point of the controller card. Okay. And then check your actuator. Make sure this uh, this is when this turning on this is uh, uh, like a sound, the sound is a buzzing bzzz, like this and you can also when you crank the engine this is clicking, clicking sound when and when the normally or close point is opening to the normally open. This is the complete working of the EFC controller. So I hope you understand with this video. See you all next time. Goodbye.